So now we can have a look at the numeracy strand solving problems involving the mean and other averages. So this first question, it says these three numbers have a mean of 5 and a range of 0. Write three numbers that have a mean of 5 and a range of 4. So it's not as easy as copying these numbers because, as it says, those numbers have a range of 0. And we need ours to have a range of 4. Now before we can choose what numbers to put in, we need to realise or work out what these three numbers need to add up to. If we think back to the mean, uh, to work out the mean, we said that we'd add the numbers together and divide by the number of numbers. So if we think about it, we're going to add these three numbers up, then divide by three, because there's three numbers, and that answer is going to be five. So what divided by three gives us five? Is 15. So we need to choose three numbers that add up to 15. So if we said we could have 6, 3 and 5. And 6 again, sorry. But 6 add 3 is 9. Add 6 is 15. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. So that will give us the mean of 5. However, it will not give us this part here. It will not give us the range of 4. Because in this question, the range, don't forget, is biggest take away the smallest, is 6 take away 3, which is 3. So the range, if we're close, is not quite right. So we can try other numbers. We could try 7, 3, and 5. So we're quite close to 6, 3, 6. Uh, 7 add 3 is 10. Add 5 is 15. So 15 divided by 3 is going to give us 5. And the range will be the biggest. Take away the smallest. So that would be 7 take away 3 is equal to 4. So in that case, we know that the three numbers we could have are 7, 3 and 5. And we could write those in any order. And the next question says that the mean height of four children is 85 centimetres and the mean height of four children and the teacher is 100 centimetres. And how tall is the teacher? Now to do this, you'd need to find how tall the four children are. Now we know the average or the mean is 85, but how tall are the four children? Don't forget to work out the mean. You would add up all the heights and divide by 4. So something divided by 4 is 85, and to work out what that is, we can do 85 multiplied by 4. Four times five is 20. Zero times two. Four times eight is 32, and the two is 34. So all the children's heights add up to 340. So the children height is equal to 340. Now the mean height of the four children and the teacher is 100. A common mistake here would be to do 100 multiplied by 4. However, there are four children and a teacher, so in total there are five people included here. So we would need to do 100 times 5 is 500. 
centimeters. So that means the four children and the teacher together are 500. The four children by themselves is 340. So to work out the height of the teacher, we could do 500 take away 340. Zero take away zero is zero. Zero take away four we can't do. So we need to borrow from the five, which becomes a four. This zero now becomes a ten. And ten take away four is six. And four take away three is one. So the teacher is 160 centimeters tall. And the next question, it's a lot of reading to do here, but it says that the table shows information about a group of teenagers. Their mean age is 15 years and 3 months. And the range of their ages is 2 years and 2 months. Complete this table to show information about the same group of teenagers exactly 2 years later. It sounds like a very difficult question. However, because in exactly 2 years everybody will be 2 years older, all that means is that the mean will, go, will increase by two years. So instead of 15 years and three months, it will be 17 years and three months. The range of the ages, well, because all of the children have gone up two years, or are now two years older, the range of the ages actually doesn't change at all. So it's still going to be two years and two months. And that's the same for if they went five years later. All you would do is add five onto the mean and the range wouldn't change at all. 